What's up guys, my name is Alan, I'm a Wix developer, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to create an absolutely gorgeous footer for your Wix.com website. So in today's example, we have this gorgeous footer, it has uh, the company information, it has the support links, uh, and it has a bunch of other links such as courses, become a teacher, services, etc. And in today's example, I'm gonna teach you guys how to recreate this inside the Wix editor for the very first time. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. First, you obviously need a Wix.com website, so go to Wix, create an account, and load up your Wix editor. So once you have your Wix editor opened in front of you, you're gonna notice that the very top is the he header, the center is the body, and the bottom is the footer. So in this case, we're gonna be working within this section here to go ahead and create this absolutely gorgeous footer that we see here. And remember, if at any time you wanna personally work with me, definitely consider reaching out. I am available for hire via the Wix.com marketplace under Alan Bajo. So with that being said, you'll notice that this footer is pretty small compared to the size that we actually have here. So let's go ahead and first of all, grab this footer. And let's go ahead and just bring this down a little bit more just so we can have a little bit more space. Now that we have more space, you'll notice that the footer can finally have elements added to it. So for example, you'll notice that this individual has a logo, some text, some social media icons, and more text here, including text and some icons here. So let's go ahead and see what we can do to create this footer here. One, let's go ahead and first of all, click on the add element button at the top left hand corner, click on upload, and let's go ahead and upload um, a logo. So just make sure you go ahead, grab your logo and place it within your footer. It's okay to be outside of the grid lines, roughly about 10 to 20%. Um, but in this case, let's go ahead and just grab this and we're gonna go ahead and place it right about here. From here, you'll notice that they have a bit of text here. So in order to replicate that, we simply go ahead and click on the add element right here, click on text, grab the text piece right here and just drag it right into the actual footer itself. Once you release, you'll notice that the text is right here. Sometimes you'll have text right here, so you can actually grab the text that appears here and just drag it into the footer. Regardless, we wanna go ahead and throw everything within the footer itself. From this, you'll notice that the text is very, very small. So let's go ahead and double click our text, and when the text editor opens, instead of being 22 font, why don't we make it 15 font? So we're gonna go ahead and just make it 15 font right here. And voila, you'll notice that it's starting to become a little bit smaller and starting to match this content here. So let's go ahead and just bring this down to about here. And let's go ahead and start replicating these little titles here, company, support, and links. So in order to do that, we simply need to go ahead and click on add element, and grab the text header, which is right here, drag it right here. And we're gonna go ahead and make this maybe 22 font. And we're gonna go ahead and replicate this. So company, support, and links. So let's go ahead and click on this and type this as company. Let's go ahead and grab this, right click and copy, and then we're simply gonna paste it right into the footer again. And in this case, we're just gonna go ahead and make this, I believe, support. And then we're also gonna go ahead and add one more by right clicking, copying, and pasting, and we're gonna call this links. Now, from here, they have one, two, three, four, and then another four, and then another four. These are links and different uh, buttons to different parts of your website. So in this example, we're gonna go ahead and simply grab some more text here, right click and copy, and then simply paste. From here, we're gonna go ahead and try to match the text on the left-hand side here. So we wanna basically just make sure that it's even. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and bring this up a tad bit more, and then we're gonna bring this a tad bit more. Remember, this content, uh, the about us is a little bit taller, a little bit higher than the actual content on the left. So let's go ahead and try to mimic it and do our best, bring it up to here, double click this text and call it about. From here, every single time we have one of these links, you can simply go ahead and click on the text and simply link it to a specific page. So if I was to have you know, four or five different pages, for example, the about page, the services, the community testimonials, we would go ahead and simply um, link them to the appropriate pages by simply clicking the text, adding link, or double clicking, clicking link, and then just adding it to a page. So let's go ahead and power through this. We're gonna go ahead and click on copy and then paste. This is gonna be about, so this one would be called services. This one would be called, just bear with me, community. Community. And then we're gonna go ahead and end this off with testimonials. So we're gonna press testimonials. So what we're gonna do here is the following, okay? I'm gonna teach you guys how to simply grab, 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 and group these as an element. Once we group them as an element, we're gonna copy and paste them, and now we have a complete duplicate. 
So once we do that, we're going to go ahead and now simply be able to rename these. So for example, we would rename this one to Help Center. Point being is that we can go ahead and replicate this pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, paste this right here. And now I have the menu, the um, <laughs> footer, looking pretty similar to what we have here. The last thing we need to do is obviously add a contact field. So we're going to click here and click contact. And then from the contact, we're going to go ahead and add a phone number and we're going to go ahead and add support. Now, it's obviously really easy because this right here is just text. So if I was to, for example, copy and paste this text here and simply remove this and remove that one, I could then, for example, stretch this out a little bit more, stretch this out more and go ahead and start putting a random phone number. So 1-800 whatever it might be your phone number. Now to add this little icon right here, which is um, actually the phone icon and the uh, email icon, what you wanna do is simply click on the left-hand side, which is the add element, go to decorative, and then from here, just simply click on, for example, more basic shapes. Once you have more basic shapes, I simply want you to click on basic shapes and click on vector art. And now we can go ahead and type in the word phone. And let's go ahead and grab this one right here, which is really nice. And you'll notice that it's dragged right here into the footer. Let's go ahead and shrink it down a little bit more. And let's go ahead and place it right about here and just move the text to be right beside it. So you can kind of start seeing that if we would have selected the appropriate vector art, we could easily replicate this. Point being is what we see here is text and just a basically a, a bunch of icons. So let's go ahead and see what else we can do here. Let's go ahead and try to replicate these social media buttons and then this beautiful line that separates the policies and the privacy and the terms of use. So let's do this. First of all, let's go ahead and click on add element. Let's go ahead and grab, uh, go back under decorative one more time and grab one of these themed lines. Let's go ahead and grab this themed line right here and drag it right into the footer. From here, I wanna go ahead and use the stretch option here. So let's go ahead and click on stretch and go ahead and stretch this out completely. You'll notice that this line that comes across the website right here is actually right here. The only difference is that if I click on design, custom design, I wanna go ahead and change this color from black to gray. So let's go ahead and move it to maybe this gray right here. And you'll notice that this little gray line at the bottom matches it right here. Now we can choose the thickness. So for example, if I was to click on the design one more time, click on custom design, I can choose to make the width a little bit you know, thicker or, or just keep it plain as uh, number one. So in this case, I'll let you guys decide. However, when it comes to the copyright icon at the bottom left and the um, other content that's on the right here, the way we would handle that is very simple. We would go ahead and simply grab this content right here, copy and simply paste it. Then I would drag it underneath the line and I'll go ahead and match it up actually to the left hand side. From here, I could put copyright 2024 Alan Ball. Wix developer. Now, if it gets too long, you can go ahead and grab the text and just simply stretch it out. Now that um, the um, content is here, you'll notice that it's really, really close to the bottom of the screen. So I'm gonna actually just move this down just a tad bit more. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this down even more. From here, I'm simply gonna right click, copy, and simply paste. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this here, and I'm gonna go ahead and call this terms of use. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just start replicating three of these over so that you can kind of understand. This is gonna be privacy policy. And then one more time at the very, very bottom, I believe what they have in this example is the legal and sitemap. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and type in sitemap. Okay, so without going too far into it, this footer is looking really, really similar. Now, obviously they have a kind of charcoal bluish background here. So it is important to kind of make sure that you have a design in the body, which is pretty much right here. And that will really ease everything to go into the footer here and not make it look so um, pretty much blended into whiteness here. So um, let's go ahead and add the final touch, which is the social media icons here. So, so with the social media icons, we simply click on the add element we go under social and we go ahead and grab any of our social media elements here, which we can then custom design, of course. But in this case, we'll go here, click on uh, that itself and bring it down right about here. From here, we can click on layout and make it just a bit smaller. And then we can go ahead and choose the spacing if you like. And we can also choose which social media icons appear, including being able to remove the ones that are black and white and actually adding color to them. So if we were to add blue, for example, and remove it here, 
you'll notice that it could really, really start looking beautiful because these, although are black and white, I do like the authentic colors for the logos. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this section right here as a footer piece. This is actually a really, really beautiful piece here. The way I would do this is the following. I would go ahead and click on Add Element. I would go ahead and click on a box. I would go ahead and click on this right box right here and bring the box right about here. From here, I'll go ahead and stretch the box out to about here to try to mimic this. And you'll notice that it has very beautiful corners. So let's go ahead and click on Design. Let's click on Custom Design. And let's go ahead and click on the corners and make them 20 corners. Now you'll notice that the corners are looking really, really good here. They're kind of matching what we have here. Granted that this color is very different. However, if I was to, for example, maybe lighten this color up just a tad bit, I could go ahead and click on Add Color and choose the appropriate color that I believe would fit. I could also make this box a lot uh, larger. But when I'm looking at an element like this, it's very simple. This is text and this is a uh, subscription form. And this is simply an image. So if you understood that, for example, if this was an image, I could grab any image, copy, and paste it right into here. Now, this obviously isn't the appropriate image, but this image itself is a transparent vacuum. So if you got that image, uh, you can definitely go ahead and use it and place it into here. From there, we have two text pieces, one that says subscribe and another that says has a subscription form. To make this happen, we would simply grab the text piece here and we would double click it and just make sure that the color is white. From here, we'll go ahead and stretch it out and just say subscribe to newsletter. Once we're happy with the content and what it looks like here in regards to what the message is, to add a contact form, we simply do this. Click on Add Element, go ahead and click on Contacts, and simply scroll down to right above here using any of these contact forms. These contact forms are really interesting because they allow you to actually add a full-on contact form built into this box. So it's really important to hire an individual like myself, like a designer, uh, or a Wix designer in general, uh, even a Wix developer to really help you create the visual effects that you're going for. So uh, with just a little bit of effort, you can start seeing just how simple it is to create a Wix uh, footer. However, in regards to this little actual um, contact form here, it is important to click on edit form and the form builder, which is another topic in itself, allows you to go ahead and build a custom form. So for example, you could ask the user just simply for their email and then press on save. And then once you hit save, you'll notice that the form itself will then appear here for you. So again, what I recommend is definitely connecting with a designer, but how we built this is very simple. We have the footer, we have a logo, we have text, we have different text, which is a header such as company support links, more text underneath it, text on the right. We added some decorative items here. And then at the very, very top, it was just simply a box that we rounded the corners to 20. From there, we added text, we could add an image, and then in regards to the bottom here, you'll notice that yes, we ended up adding this little uh, decorative line here. The decorative line, again, was added by simply clicking here, clicking on decorative, scrolling to the top to decorative lines, and just dragging it into the footer. So hopefully you guys are now able to start seeing websites and saying, oh, I can actually build this because I can identify how it's being built. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If at any point you'd like to personally connect with me, definitely consider reaching out. I will answer all of your questions in the comment box below. Again, this is Alan, a Wix developer, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on how to create a custom footer for your Wix.com website. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.